guys, it's Cassie. It's Richie. How are you guys doing? Fall is here in full swing. Leaves are great. Rain is great. Rain is not great. So before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button. Yeah, to get notified when we post our next video. Our next video after this will be our fall vlog. So you guys will see like all the cool things we've been up to in the fall. Fall things. Fall tings. Tings, tings with a Z. <laughs> oh, we actually did another vlog. Our spooky little vlog where we shot film photos in the pumpkin patch slash corn maze. Almost got lost in the corn maze. Mm -hmm. Check that one out as well. So yeah, let's get started with our fashion favorites. But before that, we actually filmed a fashion essentials video for fall for fall yeah dedicated to the clothes we've been loving we're gonna show you guys a couple of things but if you guys want to know like the in-depth essentials clothing video check the video before this one yeah we'll link it below we'll link all the videos down below this one definitely hit me by surprise because i didn't think i would like it i'm gonna pick it up with my foot like the little asian i am apparently I am not that Asian because I can't. What does that even mean? Because <laughs> Asians pick things up with their foot. Really? Yeah, I feel, or Filipinos. Okay. Right? I My guess mom so. does. I don't know. Maybe, yeah. Is I that know. a thing? It's a thing. I remember Judy. It's Judy time. Like, she would be picking up stuff with her feet. Okay. Anyways, this is a hat that I recently thrifted. I didn't think that I would be interested or like into bucket hats at all. Yeah. It like grows on you. That's me. Like it takes Sometimes. a year. Sometimes. It to... takes a while. Yeah. Cause not a lot of people are wearing bucket hats anymore, which I actually kind of like. It fits my head really well. It's an extra large. My head is very large. <laughs> it's good. It shields you from the rain a little bit. Mm -hmm ever so slightly and I'm planning on changing my hair color because the top part is like whack fading a lot more in the top section of my head yeah. rather than the bottom parts as you can see so that hat has been really helpful in hiding that situation these boots actually inspired by Cassie I actually wore these in the Spooky Corn Town. Maze Spooky Town vlog perfect for fall things you know like I love how it's patented it's like, there's one that was more patent, but I settled for these ones because I knew that it would go with everything. Really comfy, yeah. And then next up, I have another thrifted piece. We've been thrifting a lot recently too. I'll also link down, we did a video with Nina on her channel where we did like yeah. a little thrift challenge video. Nina should be our fall favorite. We've been hanging out with Nina. It's great. This fall, <laughs> yeah. It's great because she lives like in Vancouver now. So yeah, I picked up this blue fleece sweater. I've been looking for just a fleece sweater for when I want to go on walks or <laughs> you know, going to school, commuting, whatnot. It's just a really nice sweater, but I customized it. I did a little DIY and I added a I was like, hoop. where did you get that <laughs> from? So this hoop was actually attached to this chain belt that I got, but I dismantled it from the belt and attach it to the zipper of this. I think it makes it, it a looks little good. more edgy. I definitely take this off though when I laundry this sweater because oh, yeah. it's a lot That's of true. metal. Yeah. You know, it might like kill my laundry machine. Another half zip sweater. Um, it's a sweater from Eggy and it's very on trend because of the fur and half zip. Um, it's so warm. Like it actually like gets too hot, I feel like, <laughs> like when I'm in class. I'm like thinking now if I should like dismantle my belt because we have the same belt. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. It's like a little grizzly Simple. bear. Yeah. All right, so that's all for our fashion favorites. Like I said, more fashion favorites in the video before this one, but we're going to be moving on to skincare. You know what? Tatcha products are just like silk. <laughs> sure, they're silk, but it's just like inevitable that they're a favorite, I feel like, because they're just so good. Tatcha skincare, if you haven't tried any of their products, you just need to because it's just great for your skin. My skin loves Tatcha. So this is the Silk Cream Weightless Anti-Aging Moisture Rich Silk Extract for normal to dry skin, which is my skin. And I really like it because a lot of Tatcha products come with a little spoon and it just Do you makes actually use that? Something. I literally just dip my hand in it. Sometimes, you know, you know you me. you feel like bougie, you like put it on your face. Yeah, so I've used like quite a bit of it, probably like a quarter, would you say? Yeah. So this is Def's a favorite, and then Richie's excited for this one. I'm so excited. I reached out to this company, and then when I surprised Richie with this package, she got so excited, because she'd been wanting to try this out for months. I've been like seeing their ads on like Instagram, and 
all that stuff and I'm like wow it's amazing I yeah. need to try it and it's actually an Australian company yeah we were in Australia and Richie was I like was trying to find it. it but we ended up getting it shipped to us sand and sky such cute packaging and it just it's so good exfoliating treatment and then this one's a mask so it's like it works differently but i swear they use sand from like the beach, the beach we we're at to? I, I, I told you what like i have a bottle of the sand i was gonna bring it but i was like oh shit i forgot yeah because that sand that we went to in whitehaven on north queensland that sand was the best and purest sand in the world so it only makes sense that they would use that sand. I don't know though. Don't we don't, don't know. quote us on that. But literally, it's like so good. Ended my journey to fixing my skin. <laughs> <laughs> I have this Clarisonic Mia Smart brush. Exfoliating brush. Exfoliating brush, whatever you call it. Cleansing brush. But this has like three, actually four, um, different like brush heads brush heads. You can actually connect it to your phone, which I haven't done, but I've just been using it on its own. So this one's just the regular. And then this one is actually a makeup brush, which I haven't tried. I feel like I don't have time to experiment with it, but this one is so good. It's a massager. And you don't understand how important it is to massage your face. Yeah, stimulate your face. You need to because like the collagen and like stuff in your face, it needs to be awakened. I feel like some like over time your skin just gets saggy. Mm -hmm. Gravity. And so even like just doing this to your face, mm -hmm. I used to do that all the time just to stimulate your face. But yeah, it's been really good. Did I talk about this before? I think you did. This saves my life regardless. If I'm talking about this for a second time, I apologize, but I definitely have ta been talking about this on my Instagram stories. So this is the Way Hair Care Hair Oil. It's amazing because my hair obviously is bleached. It's died. It died. Literally. Literally died, but this brings it back to life. It just gives it a nice shine. So I really like it. This product absorbs right into my hair. My hair just drinks it up. I've actually had this for a while, but I've just been starting to use it recently. We actually went to the Pixie event in last year. Last year in LA, and this was actually a collaboration with Whaley. And it's like the perfect colors, fall colors that I always use on my lid, like bronzy colors. And what I like about it is it has like highlighters. I know it's like eyeshadows and stuff, but I use it as highlighters. Why? Are I'm laughing, laughing because this is so Whaley. Like, she named this brown shade potato. Oh my gosh. It does look like a potato <laughs> color. And then I have recently been lining my- Oh, your tight line. Tight line. Wet line. <laughs> tight line um, underneath my um, lashes. With liquid eyeliner? I do. It, it's so good. It's so much better. Cause then I find that if I do just a regular eyeliner, it like transfers to the bottom. Yeah, yeah. So, and then actually, oh, it's multi. My mole needs some filling, and so it's it has a pencil on the other side. So I'm like, that's that. great. <laughs> so I have recently been obsessed with the new Naked palette by Urban Decay. So this is the Naked Cherry, and when my hair was like bright neon pink. I would use this palette because I like to actually, I didn't think I would ever do this, but I actually really like matching my eyelids with my hair. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, I don't know if you can tell, Kinda, yeah. I am wearing like a pink eyeshadow, but I definitely really did experiment with this palette. And I did like a makeup look for my friend Starmad who does my hair. Um, I went to his Bellamy event and I just, you know, experimented. It looked all grunge, you know, Lava Girl was like extra edgy that <laughs> night. Um, I'll insert a picture. That was my look. My favorite colors to use like on the daily is Feels and Bing. So you guys know that I am obsessed with Huda Beauty liquid lipsticks. In my opinion, the best liquid lipstick formulas in the game. I love like her matte liquid lipsticks, the color Girlfriend, Trendsetter, and Venus. Top three all-time favorite liquid lipsticks, but she recently came out with this new formula. So this is the Demi Matte liquid lipstick in the color Day Slayer, and I'm wearing it right now. And guys, this is the formula I try to achieve with her other matte liquid lipsticks, but with a gloss over. Yeah. So it's the perfect creamy, like smooth. The applicator is amazing because it has like a little dent in it. So it's really easy to control where you apply your lipstick. If you have like really dry lips, this would be the liquid lipstick for you. Shout out to Huda. 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 
Huda Beauty. Have I been saying that wrong? I think, so. I think people say Huda Beauty. My bad if I just totally butchered that. Bottom line is, I like her lipsticks, so. Yeah, great. great. Okay, lastly, we have random favorites. While you explain, I'm gonna grab one and eat it with my milk tea. We're both really obsessed. Eating this while drinking our milk tea and it's like the perfect mix. It looks dipped. Dipped? Not dipped, well like. Oh, you mean like they dipped each side and stuck together? Yeah. Cause it's like, do that. it's like chocolate in it. But it's so good, it's like perfect for me. I don't really like sweet like cookies or whatever, but this is like the perfect It's like, like subtle, like it's not too sweet. I think yeah. it's dark chocolate, hey? Since I've been going to Bible college and my classes are so early, I definitely need coffee. And I just need coffee in general. So I bought this mug from Oak and Ford. It's so cute, so perfect, perfect size. Um, and I bring this every day to class. I feel so empty without it. Um, <laughs> oh, wow. I, I try not to spend a lot on coffee, but anyways, this is just perfect to try to save like two bucks. I find that when you purchase something that you you know you're gonna use, it's more conducive to you using it. You know what I mean? Like you <laughs> buy a notebook that's like really like cool and like you're excited about it, you're more likely to take notes. Or if you buy like that's a so mug. Funny. Wouldn't normally buy mugs. Like I would get it gifted to me, yeah. but I, I guess so. Right? Yeah. You know, cause like, but it's not like your favorite, but if you buy something that you know you're gonna use, it'll- Like a water bottle. It'll literally be conducive to you drinking more water. Like that's, that's literally so what has happened to me in the past. And I can attest to the fact that Richie uses that all the time. Yeah. It's always in her car. And speaking of car, it's not my Got keys. Got a new car. Got a new car. <laughs> I don't even own a car. Um, I bar. I use my. I share it with my parents. Okay, that's the tea. I've had AirPods for quite some time. Like I got them back in December, and honestly, they're expensive. They're excessive. However, I love them. When I like lose them, I panic because I just love. AirPods so much. Oh, and I also love like when I clean, like I can listen to podcasts without worrying about oh, the cord. So true, yeah. You know what I mean? So AirPods have definitely been a favorite. However, like I said, when I lose them, I get scared because I because they're expensive, right? There was a point in time where I thought I lost them, but I didn't. But when I found them, it got me to purchase this. Literally a case for the case of your AirPods. That's so funny. So it's a little silicone case and I got it from Amazon. I'll link it down below, but it definitely helps me not lose them. Just easy and I know where it is. But yeah, that is all. Oh, music favorite. I never thought I would ever find something so unsure. Ooh, so damn good. Baby, baby, where would I be? Am I only just a little boost to make it feel better when she's not around? So that is all for our music favorites. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. We hope you guys got some inspo on the things that we have been loving. Watch our previous videos. Let's see. Fall vlogs coming next week. We have a spooky town vlog. We have our collaboration with Nina. We have Richie's house tour. We have fall fashion, fall fashion favorites. We have the video we filmed on Nina's channel. Just so many videos for you guys to watch. If you haven't watched them, then go watch them, please. Yeah. Anyways. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We're like begging them. No, you, you don't have to. Anyways, don't forget to follow us on Instagram platform. At Cassie Masenkai. At Richie Pamantuan. And at Weird to the Nines. Don't forget to hashtag Weird to the Nines to be featured. Alright, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Hi. Welcome. Yay. Hi. But at least it's not snowing. We have it pretty good in Vancouver. But I like snow. Do like snow, but dry snow. When it becomes black ice, that's when it's dangerous. What? So awkward. <laughs>